Okay, as promised, we are going to edit the navigation in this video, and this requires attention to detail. So please, please, please make sure you're paying attention. Um, if you need to watch it one time through and then go back and follow along with the second time. Okay, so we added our pages in the previous video and we kind of got this like straight line of projects. What we're looking for is this. I'm going to drag something across the screen here. Uh, this is a same uh, portfolio, obviously. Um, I did this one earlier so you can see the changes here. So what we're looking for is sidebar navigation where you can collapse each grade level. So as you get older, if you're doing the portfolio series, you'll likely add projects. You should add projects um, from each grade level. And then, you know, as you as you get into college and whatnot, obviously you'll you'll take some of these things off. But how great is it to have this quick way to kind of see what we did in each grade level? And then, you know, as a student, you can go back and you can see, wow, you know, my writing has changed so much. I'm a lot better at writing now or my artwork has significantly improved over the years. Um, so it's nice to be able to kind of keep our work in chronological order. All right. So um, a, a digital portfolio that's been around for a while will have uh, multiple grade levels and you can click under each one and, and get your project. So this is what we're looking for. To do that, uh, we need to edit navigation. So a couple of things. Um, if you remember from um, a previous video we had the option to edit site layout uh, i think it was like the third video we talked about editing editing site and page layout so this is what we want we want edit site layout and if you remember we could do horizontal navigation across the top so if i click that it's going to start putting it here i don't want that right now okay so not going to do that for digital portfolios if you're doing another um, website and you want to use it that's fine over here, we want to edit this navigation. So when I kind of hover with my mouse over sidebar and I drag down, I get the option to work with the navigation, which is great. If I choose the pencil tool, um, I get some choices for editing the sidebar. And if I choose the plus, I can add um, different things to my uh, sidebar over here. Okay, sometimes people like to do, for example, a countdown, a countdown to your birthday or the last day of school or whatever it is, uh, is kind of fun. Or a countdown to like when a, a project is due or performance, um, you know, is, is going to happen. So that can be something fun to add here uh, for later, but we're not going to worry too much with that right now. So I'm going to choose cancel and I'm going to come back to sidebar and just drag my mouse down. I'm not clicking. I'm just hovering and I'm going to click on navigation. So it's checked so that we automatically organize the navigation. So Google Sites is automatically organizing the navigation. Um, if you remember, so let me show you this So just watch for just a second. I'm going to close out of this. When I add a page, so let's just say I call this test and I select a location that I could choose a different location. So as you add pages, uh, this is one way to kind of control your navigation. So whatever you do here, Google is going to automatically put the page where it needs to be. So this is one way you can edit your navigation. So let's say we want to put test under an indented home. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click create. And you'll see that test is now under an indented home. Okay. And if I collapse home, um, I can see that test disappears and then reappears. Okay. Uh, this is just a test. I don't want this page. So I'm going to delete it. But I just wanted to show you that you have the option to control your navigation as you create pages. Um, so that's that's one way to do it. But the way that we're going to do it, because we already created our pages, we're going to do something slightly differently. And I think this is a really good thing to know how to do anyway. I'm going to choose edit site layout, go back to sidebar choose navigation. I'm going to uncheck this. All right, so I unchecked it. And let's say I go ahead and uncheck sitemap. Just watch, just watch for a minute. 
yikes, it all disappeared. Okay, what are we going to do about that? The pages are still there. They didn't delete, um, but we need to add the pages. So if you think about that, you see add page. You can also add a URL. So let's say you wanted to add in your sidebar navigation a link directly to somewhere else on the web. You could do that over here um, by doing the add URL feature. I'm going to do the add page feature, however. And here are all my pages. So life is still good. I'm going to start with my home. Unfortunately, um, I can't multiple select, so I'm going to have to add them individually right now. So I'm going to start with home, and then I'm just going to go through and add each page. Oops, let me go back. I got seventh grade. I need to add eighth grade. And you may have to scroll down to click that OK. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add recent announcements. Um, sometimes people like to leave recent announcements off the sidebar navigation because it's so prominently displayed on your home page. So that's where people go to get updates. But um, it's okay to leave it on there too. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on there. Okay. And I also need to add the pages underneath. So I'm going to choose updates. You know what? On second thought, I'm going to leave that off because every time I do an update, I'm going to have to manually like by hand add that update. I don't want to worry with that. So I'm going to um, cancel. I'm going to delete that. So with that selected, I can choose the X over here to remove. So that took the recent announcements off. So I'm actually glad I did that because I can show you how to delete a page. So leave your announcements off so you don't have to constantly add your updates um, on your sidebar navigation that they are, um, they do automatically add in the recent announcements widget that you have on your home page. Okay, so we've got our pages here. Now we just need to organize them. So what I encourage students to do is to put the topmost grade level first and the older grade levels at the bottom. Now, our student, Emily Grace, she's in the seventh grade, but let's say she's near the end of her seventh grade year. She's getting excited about eighth grade, so she wants to go ahead and start creating a place on her portfolio for that. Now, notice I'm using these arrows to move the pages. And as I move them, um, my sidebar navigation will, will reflect the changes appropriately. So um, I've got eighth grade project under eighth grade, but I want it to be a sub page of eighth grade. So I'm going to click this indent arrow, and now it is a sub page of eighth grade. And now I want the climate change project to be a sub page of seventh grade and the same thing for the poetry project. So this is what I want my sidebar navigation to look like. So use the arrows if you get something you don't want, delete. And then to add pages, you add pages here. Now as you add project pages, you will need to add them here unless you've got automatically organized, selected, and as you add pages, you choose the proper location when you create them, okay? But one reason I, I, I prefer doing it this way is because as you get older and you start taking work off of your portfolio, um, you're probably not going to want to delete the whole page, okay? Because you're probably going to have something that you're really proud of that you did, and you're going to want to keep that. Well, if you do it this way, then you can simply take it off the navigation, but you still have the page. So when you go into more manage site and then choose pages, you can still access your seventh grade, sixth grade, eighth grade, whatever grade it is, work without having to have it directly linked from your navigation um, in case you're like applying to college or, or whatever it is, or for a uh, summer internship the the summer before your um, senior year of high school uh, your middle school work may not matter as much to that so you can take it off the navigation without deleting the pages so I, this is one reason I really like doing it this way so I'm going to choose okay and give it just a second and there it is okay so I need to choose close okay that is how we do our sidebar navigation